Hello, Al. OK. I, I don't have instruments, but I can see you naked. <laughs> no, I don't like to, to watch this. OK. Well, I, I'm going to speak about emerging technologies. Uh, emerging technologies are uh, this kind of technologies, virtual reality, augmented reality, drones, etc. So all these technologies, uh, yearly, Gartner uh, released an, an, an one study speaking about how the technologies starts in the market, go up, 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 like, like Internet of Things now is like the trending, then go down, and then go up again, like, uh, like virtual reality, that now is raising a lot, OK? So let's speak first about drones, OK? This is a small drone. It's, it's like a toy. But drones also can be very useful. Uh, if you put a multispectral camera in a drone, you can study how the terrain is using the water in the, in the plants, how are they growing. So this, is, this, is help. this helps, no? This helps the human. And we also can speak about another uh, emerging technology like this. This is a 3D printing pen. We now can print uh, stuff at home. We can print our, our own selves, etc. So what happens if this uh, technology emerges, evolves a lot in some years? Well, there is a prototype that can print a house putting 1,000 bricks each hour. So it takes the bricks, it moves the bricks, and it puts in the exact place its brick. And the machine is very accurately uh, located, better than any worker, any human worker. So this helps also. But this helps, this helps human. Maybe a lot of humans are going to be looking for a job, and a lot of machines are going to do the job that, you are, that humans are doing now. So let's see how the human performs with the machine no? versus the machine. So let's speak about the artificial intelligence, OK? How is now, how is today the artificial intelligence? Uh, one month ago, some researchers studied this. They put this image in front of machines and say to the machines, let's imagine some shapes, some forms. Can you imagine any form there? Probably your kids can do it better because they have more imagination than you. But machines also can do even better. This is what a machine can watch there. It's a kind of imagination. And we are in this year. This is not the future. This is today. So they can uh, imagine a huge city with strange forms, like uh, fish, pig, like uh, dog, pig, fish. It's very strange, OK? So these researchers told to the machine, OK, can you now paint a, a painting? And they create this. It's a little bit disturbing. Uh, <laughs> it's like dogs. Uh, there is a small city in the bottom left with some people in a small car. It's very strange, OK? So the machines now can imagine. These also are uh, some examples that they, they made. So what can we do? What can we do better than a machine? <laughs> well, looking for a job is not, not the best option. Probably a machine could do better for us. <laughs> but our best uh, option is the closed-hearted intelligence. So uh, uh, the, the presenter has to speak about the CAPTCHA, OK? Uh, well, some years ago, I helped some researchers here, researchers here in Madrid. To make a project, I developed uh, all, all the code about this project. It's, it's called uh, a project to, to, to fight malaria. So we put in front of a 1,000 people uh, some blood that has parasites inside. And they detect the parasites. They detect the parasites much better than machines. We study all the clicks of people in the parasites, and they perform much, much better. So now. This project, three years later, is in Mozambique. They are making great progress on this project on site, and they are getting real uh, samples of blood uploading to the cloud. And thousands of players are using it to, to try to catch the malaria. But the thing is, humans need a reward. Uh, probably you think that your reward is money. I can tell you that it tell you that it's not money. Your reward is dopamine. Maybe you get dopamine with money. You can buy things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, we have in this table some technologies. We have 
or a drone. Uh, we have a virtual reality. I'm going to show you uh, some demos about virtual reality in the next break, if you want, all side in a chair. And this virtual reality, for me, I think that is the best dopamine dispenser that the human has created. Why? Well, with this, you can fly, you can feel anything, you can cheat, you can trick your brain, uh, you can uh, put you, this is my, my head scan, inside a virtual world, you can uh, feel your arms like, like the last speaker with the plastic arm, you can watch your arm, you can watch two different arms with ten fingers armed, so everything can be possible with this. So this is a demo I'm going to show you in the, in the break. You are going to watch a film in the moon, where, and you are going to experiment the feeling of being there. This is amazing. You should use it to, to feel it. So virtual reality is there, but there are also a lot of technologies about uh, drones, about digital security, about 3D scanning. So what is happening now with the employment? This is a graph uh, from China. And the employment is going down, but the production is going up. Why? Because they are using technology to, to make stuff. So do you want to be this one? Do you want? Uh, choose your test. If you are a chef, you should start researching about 3D printed food. If you are an architect, you can research about 3D scanning, about 3D printing, because this is going to be very fast. And now you can learn, and it's easy, because these technologies are going to disrupt the business market in the next few years. So choose your text and, and learn. It's now the moment. So what do you want to be? A dopamine dispenser, you can be the creator, or you are going to be the dopamine consumer. Because uh, Steve Wozniak, uh, the co-founder of Apple, say that he thinks that we in the future are going to be pets from the robots because we like to, to have uh, all, all the things uh, done. We like dopamine. So you should choose between this or this. So please, immerse, start to learn, and thank you very much. This is make it possible. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no.